This mission has two objectives. Eliminate the colonel scheduled to take up a post at Smasi Fort and stop the deployment of his tank unit. Your first move should be to head to Sakai village and search for the colonel and his deployment plans. Boss, to take out enemy combat vehicles, you'll want to use explosive weaponry. Missiles, grenades, placed explosives, if you haven't developed these yet, use your iDroid to give the order. Choose your weapon according to the situation. Boss, that colonel is supposed to be stationed in Sakai village. Where are you going? Alright guys, here we go. We're up with the next one, Occupational Forces. The map has been updated. So here they come. So we're going to wait till the third one passes. We set up two different types of distractions of vehicles and the walker. There you go. Mission info has been updated. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us. That is how easy you can complete this. And we actually were able to do it with just bringing in one tiny vehicle. And then we can go ahead and actually leave. If you look at your map, you can see exactly where we need to go. So if we go pretty much just straight along this road, we'll eventually be able to run into it. Again, this is not really necessarily meant to be a speed run or anything of the sort. It's just meant to show you how you can complete it with normal means, meaning that you do, you should at this point of the game already have uh, the necessary things to make this work. You should have a few vehicles at your mother base. You can just bring in one vehicle plus D Walker. So you're setting up two distractions, even though technically you only need probably one. We could have done it with just one. But uh, again, that is there just to make sure in case the first one was only able to get one or two tanks but it seems like um, just the one vehicle was able to stop enough to three and so at this point we are just getting out of the mission area that's it you've made it out of the hot zone no sign of the enemy mission complete boss there you go, and that's how you can complete this mission, no traces. Let's see how we did. Mission complete, and how? They're gonna tell stories about this one, boss. Alright, so again, in order to pull this off, it's very simple. You can do it during the daytime or the nighttime. When you come in, before you start the mission up, make sure you have a vehicle. Any vehicle will do, preferably a vehicle that can get you there a little bit faster than, say, a tank. But before you even move the tank, uh, go ahead and spawn the tank in next to the mission start point where you saw me start. Also have D Walker ready. Go ahead and set D Walker up early before you start the mission while you're in free roam. So set him up a little bit ahead of the path that you saw. So that way when you start the mission, you have the truck and then you can uh, move the truck past D Walker and then wait for the three vehicles to come. Now there's other things you can do in this mission, uh, but you don't need to do them if you know exactly where you're going. And that's the purpose of this. This is not for the first time person. This is for the no traces uh, after you've completed it once and you want to figure out how to do it uh, completely ghostly. So yes, you do lose a vehicle in this situation, excuse me, in this situation, but we have hundreds of vehicles at this point. 
Uh, so you really don't have to worry about that too much. Just make sure you fault in a lot of vehicles throughout your adventures and you should be good to go. And as you can see, just that one vehicle while they were busy trying to destroy it, we were able to extract all three vehicles without even having to use D Walker as the distraction as well. So you can pull it off. Hopefully you guys enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, I will see you on the next one. Peace out.